afternoon and welcome to Paris. I'm here at the Intercontinental, just arrived pretty recently and took a quick shower, going to head down for lunch really, really shortly. Just wanted to check in, say hello. Today's going to be a little bit more chilled. I'm gonna just head out for a river boat dinner cruise type of thing with my friend and then we are going to do a lot of shopping tomorrow. We had ambitions to do quite a bit of shopping today but we had our flight delayed and honestly who wouldn't want to take an opportunity to just have a nap after <laughs> a few flight delays. So that's exactly what we're about to do. So the plan tomorrow is to do quite a bit of vintage shopping and also head out to Galleria Lafayette. And then we're planning to, of course, go out to a few places, go to a Christmas market and just a little bit of touristy stuff. It's my friend's first time here in Paris, so we're going to be doing some of those really classic things like going to the Louvre. So I'm really excited to kind of share Paris with you because I absolutely love being here. Here in Avenue Monsignor, enjoying the Christmas lights, doing a bit of shopping before dinner. Welcome back. Um, just came back from dinner, uh, got finished with the courses at 11.30 this evening, so obviously went straight to bed. I'm already wearing my usual pajamas. I need to take off my little Van Cleef motif necklace as much as I'd love to sleep in it. I don't think that's the right idea. And um, just want to say the dinner was really good. Like the dining experience was really interesting. Being able to see all of Paris's landmarks just kind of rolling through your window, there's something really cinematic about it. And I think the decor and the ambiance of the dinner boat really reminded me a lot of like an Agatha Christie movie, you know, things like Murder on the Orient Express or Death on the Nile. There was just something really charming and like old world about it. So I would recommend it if you're looking for a bit of a special but touristy dinner experience and the food outstanding. Like there was nothing touristy about the food. It was really some of the best stuff I've eaten. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Like couldn't recommend it more and yeah, hope you try it out. Good morning and welcome to day two in Paris. It is a super, super gloomy day. You might be able to see it, you might not be able to see it, but it is absolutely pissing down rain today. But regardless, going to go out and have a fun day. So breakfast at Cedric Brulee, and then after that, a full day of shopping, a little bit of vintage shopping, as well as just shopping at shopping malls. I have my Kelly Bouchette with me, I have an umbrella with me, and I'm gonna wear like a big puffer, and I'm ready to go. The outfit for today is pretty simple. I'm just wearing a Skims, t-shirt. I actually don't remember which shirt this is, but a skim shirt. 
And then I have these really cute leather pants. These ones are from Isabelle Marat, a toile. And they're just, I just look nice, I think, on a rainy day. Okay, I am back, went vintage shopping in Paris at this really, really gorgeous boutique called Alle. And I am wearing one of the pieces I got from the boutique. So this is a vintage Thierry Mugler blazer. It has this gorgeous wool, uh, as well as this piping kind of detail going throughout. I've styled it with my Noma Kamali bodysuit, put the collar over for a bit of dramatic effect and also helps kind of keep the blouse really open. And um, the blazer itself, you can see, is quite fitted. I can actually button it up to make it even more fitted, but I think it's just stunning. It's gonna be really great for this really chic kind of dinner I have going on tonight. Um, we'll be going to have dinner at Corban, which is what's a bar, to be perfectly honest, but they have some small plates and things like that. So just going to be me and two of my friends having a bit of a fashionable meal. Hello, good morning and welcome from Louvre. Um, we're here, it's our final day in Paris, and um, just doing a little bit of sightseeing, hanging out here in one of the really gorgeous grand staircases that are in the Louvre. You'll obviously be seeing a lot, lot, lot more uh, from the Louvre, from Paris, uh, but just wanted to kind of pop in and say hello, share my outfit as well, if you don't mind. So I've got my Hermes watch on, and I'm wearing this gorgeous brown tweed YSL vintage blazer that I got from this amazing vintage shop that I'm going to share with you um, as well as just some really casual jeans and sneakers. We haven't gotten to the Mona Lisa yet so that's what's next for us so I'll chat to you after that. See you later! So I'm clearly not in Paris anymore, which means that I made a big goof with my video. Basically I was watching back the last clip where I was sitting at one of my favorite restaurants in Paris and telling you about the restaurant and some shopping I did and that kind of stuff. And in all my excitement in watching this back, I managed to delete the entire clip. So here I am re-recording. <laughs> <laughs> what I said in that clip to the best of my ability um, but I've learned a very important lesson which is don't watch anything back until uh, you back it up in your hard drive because I have a handy dandy hard drive I keep all my videos on and I don't know what got into me but with that being said I'm going to tell you about my favorite restaurant in Paris and then I want to tell you about some of the shopping I did at Louis Vuitton and then I also had a really good shopping day at the vintage place I told you about. Obviously you saw the clip of me in Paris getting styled in the vintage Mugler blazer. I have the whole haul sitting right behind me and that's gonna go in my next video. It is outrageously amazing. So please stay tuned for that. I think you're going to die when you see the pieces. I'm gonna be styling them a few different ways, um, but obviously if you have any good ideas on how I could be styling those pieces better, I would love to know. So I'm gonna add, when the time comes, I'm gonna add the link to that video somewhere over here. 
Um, but yeah, in the meantime, stay tuned for that. It'll be next week. So speaking of my favorite restaurant in Paris, I'm going to add the little map page to the side so you can see it. It is called Restaurant Drouant. Pronunciation, as you've seen in a few videos now, is not the best, but um, it is so fantastic. I came across that restaurant just one afternoon, went down to my hotel concierge and asked them where I should go for lunch, and they recommended that restaurant, and I've been going ever since. There is not a single trip where I've gone to Paris that I haven't stopped by that restaurant. They are, I would say, like a very classic style Parisian bistro in that it has all the things you would expect. The service is immaculate. Like, the vibe in there is very kind of old school Paris. I really enjoy it. The menu is fantastic, especially if you are a seafood lover. They always have the freshest oysters, langoustine, like covered in butter. It is so, so, so good. I would also say if you are a seafood lover like me, and especially if you like sea urchin, I would recommend going to Cafe de la Paix. It is a very famous cafe in Paris. It's a very old cafe. It has these gorgeous frescoes that are um, painted within it. It is it's really just a beautiful environment, but their seafood offering is fantastic. Similar to Restaurant Drouin's, it's oysters, langoustines, but it's everything and anything. Like I was really surprised to see sea urchin on the menu and they had like the freshest, most delicious sea urchin. So that's another good one if you are a seafood lover like me. And I also mentioned Cravan in one of my get ready with me where I was getting ready to go to the bar. That bar is, in my opinion, really, really fantastic. It's located in Saint-Germain, right within the shopping district. So you have Gucci right next to it, Louis Vuitton across the street. Like it's very much a convenient location to pop into while you're doing some shopping in the area. What makes Cravan a bit interesting is that it is owned by LVMH. So they had opened the bar right around the last men's fashion week. And it's definitely a space that LVMH uses. So for example, the recent customer holiday party that Louis Vuitton held in Paris, the drinks and all the catering was from Cravan. So their cocktails are fantastic. The drink selection is great. But on top of that, they also have really, really good food and bite. In true Louis Vuitton fashion, it's an elevated version of your normal bar food menu. So it's things like trout roe, you have potatoes with caviar, you have um, tempura veggies, all those sorts of things. It is a super delicious menu. It's a really fun time out. And speaking of Cravan's really strategic location in Saint-Germain, I went shopping at the Louis Vuitton store right across the street. So let me show you what I got when I was shopping there most recently. Like I said, I got two things. My friend that I was with got more, but these are the two things I picked up. The first thing I'm gonna show you that I got is this really soft, warm winter must-have, and you've probably already guessed from the description there. It is a scarf. So me and my friend got matching scarves actually. How gorgeous is this print? So this is a really lovely sort of beige color and then light pink on one side you have the beige with the light pink accent on the other side it's the opposite. So you have the pink with the beige accent. Super super warm like can you see how soft that cashmere is? I have a few different Louis Vuitton winter accessories already. Um, but I think this one is going to be a really cute addition, especially to just add a little pop of color to an otherwise pretty bleak winter outfit. And on top of that, it's just so, so warm and fluffy and then luxurious. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. The second piece is one that I had been thinking about for a little while, to be perfectly honest, and just finally pulled the trigger on. I got the vanity case. 
I had actually wanted the larger size than this. So I wanted the BB and this is the mini size, I believe. The main difference is that the BB one has a zip here that goes across the top and obviously it's a little bit bigger. I already have things in mine. Um, I think this size has actually worked out pretty good for me, but basically what I've been using this as is a way to declutter my work bags or my purses in general because I have so many like cords like even in here there's an there's a charging cable there's cuticle oil like I have loads and loads of different things in here um, but obviously when you have all this stuff just floating around your bag it makes it impossible to even find what you're looking for so I really thought this would be a nice way to keep my bag a lot more organized plus I mean it's so cute the only thing I wish I could do is personalize it. I might see if I can send it to someone to like paint it or something like that because I wanted to hot press my initials onto it, but I don't actually offer the typical hot stamp type of engraving thing on this type of leather because it's too thick. So I might take matters into my own hands and just see if I can find someone to personalize it. I think it would be a cute touch to have a bit of personalization to this. I have my planner personalized, so I have my initials kind of hot stamped here in the interior pocket of my planner and i just think it's nice those are my little updates that i wanted to give you um once again so sorry <laughs> about my goof i'm really hoping that i don't end up accidentally deleting this as well because i'd hate to reshoot this as well but i think we're okay i think i've learned my lesson um, thank you so much for joining me in Paris. I hope you found some exciting things that you want to try, whether it's vintage boutiques or restaurants. Please stay tuned for the vintage haul in my next video. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.